Things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. Him, and all that does him, is embolden a secondary. Hey, hey, 20, 20, they feel good 20. about what's going on, and they play better and better. Tannehill forced out to his left. But, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 34. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Ryan will bring the Let's Falcons up now gun, first gun. and 10 at their 35-yard line. Tight right, tight right, 21. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. They'll set the screen for Freeman. And Freeman lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. So hold the phone here, Charles. I'd kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, it's certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. <laughs> extra point up and good by Sanders, and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this kick goes out of bounds, and that's obviously why the flag comes out here. And now you can see the defense greeting the kicker as they go out to play. Yeah, the go. starting field position for the offense is excellent, puts a lot more pressure on the defensive guys. Yeah, and if the kicker thinks he's lonesome, he's really lonesome after a play like this. Yeah, you better hope that he's lonesome because who's ever standing next to him is probably on the defensive side, and they're none too happy. On first and 10, it's and it pops free. The collision there Jared, jarred the baby. ball loose and brings up second down. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, that part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the score there. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When you talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. Hey, Express, Express! 47. 20, 20. Mike, 47. Ryan now oh, off the boot leg. He'll buy some time right. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And there we saw rolling right out of the pocket. Maybe his momentum taking him toward that sideline led him a little too far. Yeah, that is difficult, isn't it? Plus, you're closing down your space, right? You're, you're shortening the field for your receivers. And their inclination is to go towards the sidelines as fast as the quarterback is as well. Let's go. Let's go. It's hard for them to throttle down to leave themselves with enough room to stay in bounds and catch the ball. Wait. 47 to Mike. Let's go. Escape the pressure, Ryan goes down. And now defensively, they're gonna burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two minute warning. Pusher on now as he gets this one away. Taking about the 16. Now, nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. Tannehill and the set. Dolphins break the huddle. Come up first and 10 at about the hey, 32. Hey, 20, 20, 20, 20. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It's complete to Parker three, left side. Three down, three down. And he's hey, taken down, three, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A very solid gain of 27. Oh, right there. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Right there, right play, there. Play. Roger, Roger. Hey, defense, let's... Tannehill on first down. He's got Gore. 
And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Call it a three-yard game, and that'll make it second down. You got the big lead defensively. You got to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, bounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper run. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Brooks Reed in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. 20, 20, 20, 20. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Get set, get set, get set. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. His throw caught at about the five. Woo! And you he'll take him. this into you the end zone him. for a Dolphins <laughs> touchdown. Danny Amendola, 29 yards. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game. Let's Here go. we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Single, single, single on the slot. Single on the slot. Hey, 17 George, watch 17. Hey, He'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. Sanders now to kick this one away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Going up top. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. You got the slim lead late and the football, so why are you throwing it there? Remember during the year when we asked one of the head coaches, you know, if you're in this spot, why would you throw the ball? And he talked about trusting his quarterback and trusting his offense. Still, And then at the end, he got it. Yeah, not really a good reason. Escaping the pressure right. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Let's go. Strong right. Strong right. Strong right. side this is stills and he's going to be out of bounds but able to take it inside the 40 yard line that goes for a gain of 31 hey, hey, right. watch tight end oh there's that man again it's complete and down he goes taking it inside the 10 to the 7 and now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. Back to throw. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late-game execution. Everything on the line, quick, so quick, it quick. all has to come together properly. The throw's made. The Where's the catch? The right. Got a catch hey, in that hey, spot. 20, 20, 20, 20. He's back to throw. 
And that is caught. Touchdown. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final minute. The dramatic score to tie it, and now they just need the PAT to get the lead late fourth quarter. So much for the touchdown maker. It's all about the extra point. But I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that is going to put him on top by a point, and it sets us up for quite a finish. Sanders now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Up in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary, but you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get, get out of bounds, wait, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. Here's Ryan. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Robert Quinn in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. Hey, let's go. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> 20, 20. One last shot for Ryan. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that.